In this video we are going to assemble a new lawnmower. The one we're going to assemble happens to be a Toro self-propelled variable speed mower. I don't do product placement, this just happens to be the lawnmower that I bought. Obviously the first step is to open up the box, have a look at what you've got. These uh, mowers, I've bought a couple of them in recent years. I got a pretty big uh, yard of an acre to mow. Um, it's great. They're pretty much all assembled. Pretty pretty uh, quick to get them going. And you can see the uh, first thing you want to get is on the top there. That's your uh, instruction manual to put the thing together. So, in keeping with my uh, firm belief to not lift anything heavy unless you absolutely have to I just cut the box from around the mower and you can have a look there at, at uh, what we have so as I say these are great they're basically all pre-assembled uh, with the exception of basically the bag which you see in behind there off to the right uh, we see the unit that directs the uh, the grass and uh, the handle so we're just going to remove the packaging so as mentioned, we're going to remove all of our packing there. Set that aside. Then we have to remove these knobs. That's what it mentions in the instructions. So again, this is just kind of a generic procedure. You're going to read the instructions for the exact mower that you purchased and do a, the step-by-step -step procedure given there. Just going to set this aside a little bit here because it's connected by these cables. To get these handles off here. So, we're going to lift this handle into place, again, constantly referring to our instructions, it mentions the fact that when we lift this up, we want to route these cables here to the outside of our handle, which they kind of normally go to anyway, but you see here, if I don't take the handle out a bit like that, that releases those cables so that they're out there on the outside of this handle. Let's move this into place like that. And hopefully both sides are coming into view here. We want to put this hole and that hole. We want to put our bolt here through it. So I'm gonna hold it like that. Hope I'm not getting in the way of my camera here. Kind of maneuver it like that. You can see the handle. Hopefully you can see it uh, sets right into the groove. Of that piece there and then we're going to move this one out pop that in the other side like so so here our cables are on the outside as the instructions recommended take our units we removed before screw them on clockwise Ready, tidy. I'm gonna move my handle up like that so that it falls into the, those grooves. And basically, start to tighten those down. I always like to get something snug and then tighten each side down a bit so that I don't end up with one side really tight and the other one kind of loose. So we'll just turn that until it hits the handle. Read it like that. Go side to side here. Put that one on. Again, while you're doing this, 
can't see it from that angle, I guess, but there's the groove right here, and the handle is fitting right nicely into that. Back and forth a bit there. That's done there. And there we go. So, following the instructions for this mower, the next step it tells us to hold the blade control bar up against the handle. This is the handle. There's the blade control bar. I don't have to actually hold that there, push it in like that because I, I left my tape on there. And then what we got to do is take the starter rope, which is down here, and pull that up and put it through our starter rope guide here. So hopefully you can see this. This is got a hook like that, and it's opened here on this side. So we can just kind of slip that through like so. And that makes it nice and easy to start the mower while you're standing there, and you can hold that bar. Now, speaking of which, just to show you when I remove that tape, there's our blade control bar are there. Next step in our instructions, very critical, it tells us to add the engine oil. Now some mowers used to be shipped with oil in them. I don't know if that's so common anymore. Um, anyway, if you forget to put oil in your mower and there wasn't oil in it, you are going to ruin your brand new mower. So we can see here nice little tag add oil before use here's our oil that was shipped with our mower I'm gonna open that up I looked in the maintenance section of my owner's manual for this and it says that the mower takes a maximum of 0.63 liters and when I look on the oil can here the container that was shipped with this it tells us that this is 535 milliliters so if the maximum is a little over 600 I'm gonna guess that I could put most of this oil in here but <clears throat> we're not gonna guess we're just gonna add a bit at a time and check our oil level so to turn off or to uh, remove our dipstick here where we put the oil in we take that out we can see the, the uh, gradations on the dipstick here are full and are low and obviously if we don't see anything on it it's empty so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this off get a piece of paper towel clean it off like that so it's nice and dry put some oil into it and we're gonna check the level as we go here so I'm just gonna little funnel would be handy to have it now. Fills up pretty quick, so just a little bit at a time. As I say, according to the maintenance section of this, maximum is the maximum oil amount it'll take is less than what is in this container. But I suspect that there may be a little bit of oil in there anyway. I would suspect that they would ship it with a bit in it. Could be wrong. Anyways, take our oil cover slash dipstick, turn that in there, clockwise. Seat it in there, it's in there all the way. Take it back out. We look at it. We haven't even put a, a mark on it, so we know we can put more into it. Okay, as it turns out, I ended up putting the whole container of oil 
into the mower. I don't know why the manufacturer just didn't say put the whole unit in. It, the uh, instructions just said keep adding oil until it's full. And I want to correct something here in case I, I think I said screw this down to check the oil. What the instructions I checked again and it just says lay it in there. You don't have to actually thread it in like that to check the level of the oil. So what I'm talking about is we take it out, clean off the dipstick, and we just lay it in like that, like so, and then take it out to get our reading. And here, hopefully you can see this, the oil level, now that I put that whole container of oil in, here's the full mark, right by my fingernail, and our oil level where the dipstick is wet is right there, a little bit lower. That's close enough. I'll run that mower with that. That's close enough to the full level there as opposed to there. And it's within this range of the three X's, so it's okay. Okay, so our grass bag, if you intend on using it, uh, was shipped like this. So we got to slip these edges over the grass bag frame here. So, I'll take the bottom here first. And if you look at it, you'll see it just kind of clips on like that. Pop that on there. And take our side. Hopefully you can see that groove there. Which just goes into onto the frame. Pop that. Oop. Seems a little stubborn there. Maybe I'll put this one on first. It's top. Take it from underneath and then over like that. There we go. Okay, that's like so. You get the idea. There's a, there's a lip along there, and then the actual groove there, so. Then we go along like that. And that's the grass bag onto the frame, like so. Okay, now we're going to put the grass bag on. Personally, a lot of times I don't even bother with this, the grass bag. I'll just uh, let the clippings discharge through the side. But uh, my mower died a while ago, so I'm going to be using this for a bit. So to uh, basically to collect the clippings and just dump them somewhere else, because uh, as I say, my lawn is kind of ridiculously long at the moment. So to put this on, we just lift this unit up at the back. Take our grass bag like so, and we'll see see this pin here slides into there, and this pin here. Hopefully, you can see that in over there. So we just go like that. There, settle down, settle set in there. Put that back, and away you go. If you're like me and you don't generally collect your grass clippings then remove the bag don't put the bag on and what you want to do is use the side discharge uh, right here so here's our guide for that on this unit right here and right here are two little pegs that will go down into these two holes we, we see here so we just line those up just kind of drop this down into place, move it like that, and we can see that that is locked in, and that's our little side discharge unit for the grass clippings. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but to remove the bag, just grab the handle like so, push this unit forward, and it'll slide right out like that. Drop this down. Now your mower is 
All ready to discharge the grass clippings through our side over there. Looking at the front wheels of the mower here to adjust the height uh, of the grass we're going to cut, which uh, according to the instructions for this um, lawn mower, it can be anywhere from one inches to four inches high. That's uh, that's quite a difference between one and four inches. So what we do here is on the front. Here's this lever. We push this out that way towards the wheel. You'll see it disengage out of that groove there. And if I move this forward, you can actually see the the tire getting closer to the ground. So in other words, if you want your grass to be shorter move this lever towards the front of the mover or towards the front of the mower if you want higher grass push it in that way and then back so, and it's the same way with the uh, the rear wheels if you want the grass to be cut higher you'll move the lever on the back uh, wheels towards the rear of the mower also and just to show that we're looking at the rear wheel of the mower here and again let's just say we want our grass to be longer so we pull this lever here inward like that and then move it back you can see where it where it is there hopefully and lock on one of those grooves So, we're about ready to actually start cutting some grass here. We're going to fuel it up. Hopefully you can see that the gas cover will usually have a picture like that. A picture of a gas pump there. So before we fire this lawnmower up for the very first time, give everything a quick look. Make sure your gas cap is on there. Go around. We already talked about the oil. Make sure that your dipstick is tightened down in, in there. That is. Verify that your wheel settings are where you want them to be. I was telling you about the hay field that I have right now, so I put all of my adjustments towards the back of the mower because for this mower that's the highest setting there's my hay field by the way so this mower is going to get a bit of a workout anyway give that a quick look and we'll start this mower okay we're ready to start this mower for the first time let's see what happens pull this handle in towards the handle there Once you start the mower, pulling this back, start it, you lift this lever here up. So, like so. I'll straight that. 